Hi, this is Cameron. I'm here to talk about the Sony MXD D5C Mini Disc Player and CD Changer, 5 disc CD Changer. Um, this is a great unit. I've had it for about 10 years. Um, uh, the sort of Achilles heel of this unit is, seems to be that it lacks the digital audio output um, in either coaxial or optical form. And um, even though it has a digital input, uh, this has always been kind of a th little thing that's bothered me. So um, after doing some research online and uh, coming across the minidisc.org forums many years ago, people have modified some of their mini disc players to have a digital output. I wanted to do the same. This is my primary CD player. So um, this is the unit here. And um, what I've done is I've actually made this modification um, with some help from uh, the Sony In Insider Forums, uh, the uh, administrator SF, uh, I think it's SF uh, BP. SF BP has been uh, very helpful in helping me figure this out. So uh, thank you very much to, uh, I think it's Steven. So um, uh, here's the unit. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a mini disc right into it. And um, I'll have a look around the machine and I'll show you what we've got going on right now. Reading the uh, table of contents, it looks like we've got everything but the girl here. So let's hit play. Okay, so that's playing. Um, this is my Sony receiver. It's a, another 10-year-old model. It's, it's, um, it's a 6.1 receiver. Um, it's got several digital audio inputs. And um, what I'm going to show next is the modification that's been done to this mini displayer and DVD changer. So um, here's the optical um, connector. and. Uh, this is the optical cable going down to the stereo, this blue cable. Uh, the crazy wires here, this is the um, module, the transmitter module. This is something I picked up off of eBay. And you can, we can kind of see wires going everywhere. There's a, a wire for power, a wire for ground. Um, the particular unit I'm using requires a, a, a resistor. It calls for an 8.2 kilowatt resistor. Um, excuse me, 8.2 kilo ohm resistor. I was able to make do with a 10 kilo ohm. Um, and uh, we've got our signal wires. Um, I was hoping to use both CD and mini disc uh, SPDF, SPDIF feeds to uh, feed the transmitter module, um, but it would only accept one at a time. Currently, I'm using um, the mini disc output and it's on uh, I know the focus isn't right here I'll try to get that here in a little bit um, right here this is pin number one off of the audio board on the uh, MXD D5C um, I can play a CD um, even though I only have the one wire connected right now and I'm gonna show you how I do that so I'm gonna press stop on the mini disc playback I've got um, another CD loaded into the tray, so I'm going to hit play, and um, the disc is starting to spin up, okay, and there's no sound. Um, we can see the levels bouncing here, so something's going on kind of behind the scenes. Um, now if we eject the mini disc and hit the record button, We've just made a pass through on the record circuit to allow CD playback to uh, come through that SPDIF uh, wire um, into the optical connector and down to the stereo. So that's kind of a cool workaround until I can actually get two dedicated um, optical transmitters um, put into this. So I'm hoping to get everything cleaned up here and actually have the a Toslink transmitter is mounted to the back panel um, where it'll look more like a professional installation. If we take a look at the back of the machine right now we can see that there's no no analog connections uh, you know currently in place. Um, we can see the digital input that it's equipped with but not 
not equipped with the digital output. So um, anyway, thanks for listening, and um, uh, thanks for all the assistance that we've had here on the uh, Sony Insider Forums, and um, we'll uh, maybe have a closer look at uh, some of where the wire traces are. Thanks a lot.